Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sensei Plays, and today we're going to be finishing up the box for One Piece Kingdoms of Intrigue. So, this is our fourth box opening for this series. Um, we only have a half of a case. A buddy of mine went in on the other half, so we've got a couple more boxes after this. And then we're going to be hopefully able to time it pretty well to move on to the next series, which is going to be Dragon Ball Super Zenkai 6. Uh, perfect combinations, if I remember that set correctly. Some pretty nice looking artwork and uh, characters that were favorites of mine from growing up. Looking forward to that. But I'm really enjoying this One Piece card game. Not just from the uh, unboxing, beautiful artwork, but also from the gameplay. We've been watching a lot of the videos, learning how to play the game, deck strategies, um, things like that. There's some pretty interesting uh, um, ideas out there. And so getting into the game just try to play it and have a little bit of fun. Let me know if you guys would like to uh, schedule or play some games as well. I think you can do so uh, online. But if not, we can figure something out, right? Maybe we can do a Discord or uh, even like a, a Zoom or something. Anyway, let's get these packs cut up and ready to go. All right, let's get zoomed in. Now, by the time you are watching this video, the uh, open enrollment for that grand prize giveaway that I had going on is closed, but we are working on getting that scheduled. And so, um, I don't know, we might have some surprises if you're able to be a part of that. Keep your eyes on the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can be involved with uh, all of the things we've got coming up and all the giveaways and uh, whatnot going on. And with that, let's see what we get. Hanger, Cobra, Prospero, Coliseum, Yokozuna, Koza, Twisted Breath. All right, Kiyomon is our first foil, and Igaram. So nothing too fancy with the first pack. We're going to go through this um, a little bit faster. So for the first several uh, packs, we'll go through individual of the cards, and then for the last maybe half or so we'll uh, just jump to the back see if we get any special pulls so far uh with the previous box i'm pretty amazed so i'm happy with you know just getting regular let's say roy uh, rares and even <laughs> even super rares um but of course alternate art is wonderful beautiful love getting it that's interesting. So it looks like every box has an alternate art. It just depends on whether you're going to get a rare, super rare, or a secret rare version. So Magellan is the alternate art. Let's see if we get more than that. It is a super rare. Put them over here on the side. It's pretty nice. Okay, we'll do uh, one more pack after this, going through the individual cards, and then we'll start just jumping to the back. Viola, Drophy. Luffy, Cannon, Queen, Who's Who, and Diamante. So these two, we're getting quite a lot of those copies. Let's see if we can uh, make a deck around them. Otama. Hiroi. Laoji. Okay. Frankie is our foil. And another Monkey Luffy. Okay, so this, I think, makes it four. So now we have a whole set. If we want to make our black deck, we can have those cards ready to go. That's pretty nice. I like being able to um, have everything and not necessarily need to go buy singles to build a deck. Um, I don't have all of the sets, so there are going to be cards that I will need to go buy to finish building a deck. But I'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, Senor Pink and Who's Who. Very nice. Colors trap. Uh, let's see, what is this? Don minus one. 
up to one of your leader or character cards gain a thousand power, then rest one of your opponent characters with a cost four or less. Nice. So you're able to strengthen your card and uh, make one of theirs targetable. And then there's a trigger. Add up to one Don from your Don deck and set it as active. Okay. Charlotte Amande and our alternate art. So the fa past few boxes, we have been pulling two of the alternate art Dons. So far, we have two from this one as well. Okay, Queen, Chaka is our foil, and Crocodile is super rare. Very nice, Rebecca foil. And Pell. Gotten several of these as well. It's a pretty nice red card. Treble. And very, very nice. Crocodile Leader Alternate Art. Look at that beauty. I, I say it every time, but full uh, card artworks are always just, I'm a sucker for it. Might even look at getting this one graded. I don't know. Let's see. What do you guys think? Should we get that card graded? Obviously, it's packed fresh right into a sleeve, right into a top loader. So it should be... Um, Pristine, right? Black label, perhaps even. We'll check out what that might be um, priced at. Even though I'm a collector, sometimes I like to, uh, you know, have some of them available for sale as well. King, Kinemon. Like to share the love, right? I want to just hoard everything for myself. If there are any of these uh, common or uncommons that you guys might like, let me know. Be more than happy to send them your way. All I ask is uh, you know, cover shipping. Depending on how many you want to get, it might be you know two bucks, five bucks, eight bucks. Um, ultimately, it would be negligible, right? And then you can have uh, any of the cards that you might be looking for. Okay, last pack for this box. We'll do a quick recap. What did we pull? What are our numbers? Okay, another Zoro foil, rare, and spiderweb. Okay, so we have gotten our two alternate art dons. We have gotten an alternate art leader card. I'm going to put them up here for now. One super rare. That's two, three. Alternate art, we will count it as a super rare, so that's four, even though I'll put it on the side. Five, six, seven, and eight. So it is looking like we're getting eight super rares with at least one alternate art. Now, we happen to be lucky to get two alternate arts, so that's a very nice extra pull there. Good-looking cards. Uh, well... Like always, thank you so much, guys, and until next time, have a great day.